This is another one of Sarah's. Life is easier with, with baby yes, contraptions. This is, this is much better than the little first device Jackson had. <laughs> Are you swimming by yourself? Yeah. Naked, hanging by your neck? <laughs> Poor boy. <laughs> I know. During this time of change that will end up in the history books as we are given credit for saving lives by staying home, I decided to tell a story from almost three years ago. My little nephew is still a blob, and Jackson hadn't discovered Minecraft yet. Sarah and Brian still lived in Lake Havasu, Arizona. I slept on their couch, and Brian went to work every day. It was mid-September 2017, and the boat sat in a marina slip, ready to go at a moment's notice. What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a good day. Figuring out some way to live a healthy, wealthy, and wise life. So we're back on the boat now, and I'm trying to learn how to use this camera. Basically I had only owned a real camera for less than a month and spent way too much time bumbling about learning how to shoot. So I'm gonna try to set everything manually. Busted. Oh, what happened? Eating candy bar. <laughs> Well, there was a lot of things to buy in you know there, what? but that's one of my favorite candy bars. Well, here I'll okay. share this no. with you. Uh, no. It's all yours, baby. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful today. Dad and Becky, his neighbor, drove a thousand miles from Texas to visit, and not wanting to waste a good day on the water, he headed north up the Colorado River from the Lake Havasu Marina, across the main lake. Back on this moment, I had forgotten how jagged and steep the canyons are leading down to clear, cool water. Texans call them calf fries. I've heard Rocky Mountain oysters. <laughs> yeah, it's what do you, right here what too, do you, oh, this is gonna be awesome. on YouTube. Oh, it's, it's gonna smart. be on YouTube? What do, you, yeah. what do you think of these? I don't know, I don't need them. <laughs> I never even got one. Okay, no. here it goes. It's the, the testicle de toro. I got the sign. Go Puck 66. Boom, there it is. Yeah. Calf fries, aka Golly Wobblers, aka. It's kind of moist. Rocky Mountain Oysters. Very tender. No weird, like. Something weird. Maybe a little slimy. <laughs> Are you scared of it? No, it's truly like an oyster. <laughs> what do you think? I could get used to them. Very edible. You think Jackson eat them? Yeah, just tell them it's a chicken nugget. I want to take home one and give it to Jackson. Just tell them it's a chicken nugget. Okay. We're taking a calf fry home to give to Jackson. <laughs> propane um, thing that you burn the spines off of the cactus. Um, torch. Yeah, pear torch. burner. Huh? Pear burner. Yeah, pear burner. Stuck in the end to, to heat, and then you you put your branding irons in the other end of the pipe, and then the, they, they would get heated up for branding. And so uh, the, the cowboys would cut the calf, the bull calf, and throw the testicles up on top of that pipe. Burner. Uh, and when they popped up and they were done. Snack time. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of trivia for that video. From a good old West Texas girl. 
and it was all about. Oh wait, and so you just explained mm -hmm. the difference in calf fries come off of a calf, and those come off a bull. Well, no, bulls, those bulls are probably even bigger than that. They don't clip the bulls. Of, how big? I mean, a bull. Hold, hold it up for me, like uh. that. They're, like that. They're big. They're big. <laughs> Here we go. Get this on film. And you pop them out, pull them up, and yak them off. Put a little purple medicine on it. Very nice. So we're headed back up the river. We got Jackson's calf fries. And it's a beautiful afternoon. See y'all back on land. Great thing about a marina slip, your boat is always ready. It's like getting in a van at the parking lot and taking off and having a good day. Downside of having your boat in a slip, when it breaks, it's expensive. You have to take it out of the water. So that's what we're doing now. We're taking the boat out of the water, going to get the windshield fixed, and then putting it back in sooner than later, hopefully. We got the trailer hooked up. Dad's inside. He's got his nuggets. But we can't make a big deal out of it. Are they good, Jackson? They got them just for you. Huh? Say what? Oh, oh, let's warm them up. Hey, buddy. How are you? Look at those big blue eyes. Sarah, did his eyes just turn blue? There's Mr. Vance, the man with the plan. He loves Donald Trump, and he loves Jesus, and he loves America. I'm telling you right here, we got the man with the plan. Watch him turns out to be like. Is it what? Did his eyes just turn blue? I think they're getting bluer. But they're very blue. We called Jackson Mr. Blue Eyes for like a year before his started now? turning. So. What are they, hazel? Hazel. Some, some brown and blue? Brown and green mostly. Yeah. <laughs> green. It took the first year his eyes were blue, second year they were like blue green mostly green, and then it wasn't until after he was two that they turned, they got some brown in them. Huh. All babies are born with blue eyes. Yeah. Are you going to get the boat with us? All right, let's roll. If you got it, you buckled in. Yeah. One more, one more, all right? Okay. Oh yeah. You want to go out on the boat? You gonna help me park it? All right. Good job. Tell you what those nuggets were? Yeah. He did. <laughs> did you tell Jackson? No. Jackson, you know what those nuggets you eat were? Cajones? Golly wobblers? Yeah. Rocky Mountain oysters? Yeah. Cat fries? Yeah. They're good too, right? Yeah. The, the, bowl, the bowls of the bull? Job you speak of. Uh -huh.